So earlier this week, I completely cleaned out my sister's room because this is where my parents have me quarantined away from everybody else. This is the furthest room from their room. And school started back on Monday and everything is getting a bit overwhelming for me personally. Um, I've spoken briefly about having issues with anxiety and depression and stuff like that i don't really get into it but like i do get these spells where i feel like i can get absolutely nothing done is like it's not physically impossible for me to get out of bed but it's mentally impossible for me to get out of bed you know what i'm saying and the school started back I don't have a choice some days but to get up and get out of bed so I don't know um, sometimes I would just like bring with myself and be like okay you get to watch TV until this time and then when you're finished watching TV when this time has come you have to get up and you have this amount of work to complete for today and you don't get to watch TV again until this is done and sometimes I would reward my or like sometimes I would do a little something and then reward myself like with TV or candy or whatever um, in between um, but today like yesterday was really intense I did absolutely nothing the whole day like absolutely no no work at all i just lay down the whole day and a lot of people won't understand like why but like mentally your brain is like getting up is so painful mentally that it even start you start to feel it physically and it's weird it's really weird i must see i need a bed but like a Marla Negra is having a live stream with a DJ and I have an party like I got a space clear out in the bedroom and I dancing I did a TikTok last night and I still have remnants of the makeup from my TikTok still on my face I didn't take off the lipstick some of the eyeshadow is still on my eye. Oh my goodness. <sighs> I just woke up. It's so late. I have so much work to do. But I only have one pair of heels. And I actually stopped buying heels. Because they just weren't comfortable. And I wasn't wearing them. I was just wearing my flashes all the time. So I woke up this morning. And lo and behold, I find these gorgeous pair of heels outside, right by my door, in my size. Can you see that? I don't know if you guys can see that. And I'm like, where did she just come from? And mother's like, Any Karna, she's cleaning. You know how it is when your mother home, they start cleaning. They just got home, they don't ask you to start cleaning. <laughs> So, I don't even remember buying these shoes. I know they're mine. I remember wanting a pair of shoes like this. I remember maybe even saving money for a pair of shoes like this. I don't remember buying them. I don't remember wearing them. And they actually look like if they were worn, they were only worn at one time. I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> Excuse me, they're on my floor, but look. See how perfectly these fit me? Why would I find this perfect pair of shoes I don't remember buying in the middle of quarantine? In the middle of quarantine where when I have absolutely nowhere to go. This is crazy. So because all of my quarantine snacks have run out, the only thing I have left is popcorn. I did doing gluten free brownies. This is before I bake. Well, brownie crisp. Which is like a flat crispy version of brownies. So this is gonna be real delicious. The only thing is, is that because of quarantine, I usually like to get um, salted caramel brown crisp and I don't have any caramel chips and I don't have any chocolate chips. 
because chocolate chip would be my second option. So I can't get it because we can't even like just go to the supermarket and shop for stuff. So that's a problem. But it'll still taste good, I think. So it'll be fine, I guess. So it's been bothering me the whole day. Like the CDC recommends that we wear fabric masks. But the CDC recommendations are changing every single day. And I'm like, I don't even know if I want to wear fabric masks. Suppose they say tomorrow fabric masks are completely ineffective. For the less, they're going to make the situation worse. And I'm going crazy. But as of current recommendations, the recommendations are to wear fabric masks. And they have guidelines on their website as to how to make masks. So I have taken upon myself to volunteer to make masks to the public for free. And that's just what I'm going to do right now. This thing has me more messed up mentally than I thought it did. Sometimes I'm good, sometimes I'm not, and I just... Why, Rona? Why? Why? Like, we was having a good year. So this is the first three masks going on. This one is red and blue. This one is red and black. And this one is all blue. And I made them with strings to tie around the head as opposed to elastic. <laughs> 